Hello, this is me giving you a very quick rundown of the module Magic Items, specifically as it pertains to one of my players' character, Marin the Bard. Marin has recently suffered some injuries here. Um, we're going to look past that for the moment, but she has also acquired a Ring of Spell Storing, which has the ability to cast additional spells. Marin, this is what we've done so far, and uh, you can add spells in yourself, and I'm going to show you how you can do it. We double click on your character sheet. We can see I've added into your inventory the Ring of Spell Storing, and I have added it into your favorites here. So it's always going to be on the front page in case you need it. You can always do that by right clicking and saying remove or add to favorites for any of your items. Now, what this is going to do is we can edit this item, this Ring of Spell Storing, wherever we want. And the important part here, there's a number of different tabs, we want to go to the Magic Item tab. In here, you'll see we can drag spells in here. Now I've given this five charges, you can cast up to five spells, um, five leveled, five levels of spells, so either five level one spells or one level five spell can be fit in here. And so I've set that maximum. Um, but how do you add spells in here? Well, you can drag and drop them in. Now, where do you find spells that are not part of your character sheet? Up in here in the compendium, top right corner, you'll see there are a number of different compendium folders. We want to go to the item one. Spells are considered items um, for the purposes of foundry. So you'll see, in fact, like there's feats in here, there's classes. These are all considered items to foundry. But we want to find the DD Beyond spells, DDB spells. Oh, don't you wish that was one of your spells? <laughs> okay, so now that we're in the DDB spells compendium, you can drag any spells from here into your item. Now, quick comparison you don't want to drag them into your spell book because dragging it into your spell book drags it into your, your spells that just you know. What we want to do is drag them into the item. So we're going to edit the item and drag spells into here. So let's find shield, which was recently cast into your ring by Theo. We grab shield, drag it in. Perfect. It's a first level spell. It's going to consume one spell level. And that's about it. It's now in here. Let's grab another one. What if we got... Let's say um, Fumo gave you Shadow Blade. We can grab that, put it in. Second level spell, using this would consume two. Perfect. And we could say, let's grab Healing Word maybe, or no, Healing, um, what's the word? Healing Spirit from Sereni perhaps. And maybe we grab Mage Armor. Perfect. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. My bad. You can't have that many. So we'll remove mage armor and click the trash can there. Boom. So this is what you can store five levels of spells inside this item. That's it. We can close this compendium. If at any point in the future you uh, get different spells, we can always come back to the compendium. We can remove spells from here, drag in new ones. Great. So now that we got them stored, how do we use them? Once you close the item, you can go to your spell book and you'll see them at the very bottom of all of your spells uh, here. So here's all your cantrips, first level, second level, third level, fourth, and then your spells in your magic item. And you can just click and cast them from here. So let's say we want to find out your armor class is 14 currently. You cast the shield spell. Beautiful. 19 AC applied until your next turn. Uh, additionally, what you'll find is it has reduced how many you uh, spell charges you have in here. Now, technically, the Ring of Spell Storing says that once you cast it, that spell's no longer in there. So it would be up to you at that point to um, edit the spell and basically say shield has been removed. Now, maybe you don't want to do that every time. Um, Maybe you'd like to have Theo cast it in there all the time. I don't, I don't, we'll have to figure out how that works exactly. Um, because I know it can be tedious to come in here and edit this all the time, but we'll figure that out. However, you want to track that is up to you. 
But any items you add in, again, you'll add them in from Compendium under the items, DDB spells, find the spells you want in here, and you're going to add them into the item itself under magic item. You'll drag stuff straight into here, like so. Close it, spell book, now you have the shield spell. That's it. Hope that was helpful. Bye-bye.